Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're going to talk about a really quick way to make some glitch effects in After Effects. Breakout. Okay, so the main thing that drives this look is our ages old mosaic effect. And all of these we have them set to 30 by 30 with sharp colors ticked. So the underlying part is what gives us our glitchy look. On this one, we're just using some stroked lines that are repeated. All right, so let's look at the second example. This is actually what led to this tutorial. So I've made these cool streaming particles for something we're working on, and he decided to reuse this element to get something cool out of it, so he put mosaic on it and noticed that it did this. Which really fit the look of what we were working on. So these particles were made actually in 3D, but I figured I could make something similar in After Effects. If you're subbed on Patreon, keep a lookout because I'm actually going to render out some of these textures and make them available for download. Alright, so let's check out the example of number three. We have the same mosaic effect applied, and I'm going to turn that off real quick, and we have more lines. To this one, I've applied an expression that moves us one pixel per frame, so that we get a jitter that looks like this. It's not exactly the same, so I kept working on it. We get into Brick Breaker over here. And this is a whole lot closer. So we have our mosaic, and this one's parented to a null this time. Because the original one had a camera that was pulling out. Then we have this layer, which is the size of our comp with noise applied to it. Then we have the base layer with these stroked lines that we're seeing here, that's using that noise layer above as a luma mat. And it also has noise applied to it. That gives us a lot of noise in here. And that's important because we want these to be really distorted so that there's barely any of an image here, because that'll make the blocks in our mosaic jump around a lot as it samples the layer below. To help with that, we have these layers set with a really low stroke amount, it's 0.1 pixel. So if we turn our mosaic back on, you can see that it looks like the 3D particle one that's ever rendered. All right, so let's go check out 05. I've just thinned it out, so we have like a little like data stream, and I've added a little bit of a glow to it with a directional blur. I actually used this a couple of times in the project we're working on right now. So that's actually a really neat use of a very common effect that shows how you can generate something more complex from something really simple. None of these things take more than a couple of seconds really to set up. And you can combine them in interesting ways to actually make your work a lot more complex. All right, if you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you feel like helping to support what we do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. Keep up with our blog on workbench.tv. And as always, I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. <laughs>